Hi, before I start the tutorial, one of my subscribers asked me how to remove this page border here. Go to File, Document Properties, and here are the options that control that. So if this uh, is a distraction for you, you can remove it from here. Or you can also show the border shadow or not show it. And uh, if you have something, let's create an object here. You can put the border on top of your drawing using this option. Now let's remove it because I'm not going to need it for this tutorial. And in this episode of the beginner's guide, I'll talk about this um, create and edit text objects tool, keyboard shortcut F8. And this is basically the text tool in Inkscape. You can select it and then click here. And let's just type in some random letters. It doesn't have to make any sense. Let's zoom in a little bit. Control mouse wheel. Now the first option uh, s allows you to select the font. If you select a different font here, this will affect the entire text. And if you want to affect only a certain part of the text, a word or a phrase, you can just uh, select that and then go and change the font to something else. Now the next option, uh, the size of the font, this is not really something that is so important because as you already know, Inkscape is a vector-based graphics editor. This means that uh, we can use the select and transform objects too and uh, make this text as big as we want and uh, it will not lose any quality it will always look very good so just like any other objects when I was talking about the select and transform tool I explained all the options for example holding down the control key will uh, resize this text in aspect ratio 1 to 1 like this you can also hold down the shift key to expand from center or you can hold them both to expand from center and uh, resize in aspect ratio so this is basically an object this is not just a text so you can um, do everything that uh, you can do with every other object and you can also also always go back to the text to click here and continue editing your text so this next option uh, toggle bold or normal weight you can select that click here this is actually bold right now yes you can change that you can also decide to make the text italic the next options control the alignment of the text you can align it to the left which is right now you can align it to the right if you want or you can align it to the center the other option here justified uh, is grayed out because you can only use it uh, with float text let me show you what that means let's create an object here a circle like this and um, select the select and transform tool click here then shift click on this object and go to text flow into frame and now you can go back to the text tool and you see this option now is available let's undo all that zoom in again uh, next options here toggle superscript you can click for example mark this and do that or to toggle subscript like this next option spacing between lines all these options are pretty common here you probably have used them with other text editors nothing new maybe this one here is a little bit more different you can uh, do a vertical shift let's select a word and uh, you see how this works you can also uh, character rotation let's see how that works you can also do it in the opposite direction like this and you can of course select to uh, write a horizontal text or a vertical like this 
So this is pretty much all about this create and edit text objects. Of course, there are a lot of other options in Inkscape regarding text, but I'll get to them in future tutorials. So uh, that's it for this tutorial. And if it helped you, subscribe, like the video, share it to help me and bye for now.